welcome back to more Space Engineers programming with your host, Pilot Error 42. I was just finishing up welding this guy right here, and now I'd like to place my inventory back in my welding ship. That's he's wonderful, but he's he's more than one block wide. He can get in here, he can do all this stuff, but he can't quite fit into there. So I had to do it manually. So I'm just gonna put my stuff full back. Oh. The connector's full. The connector's full. Because I always put stuff back into the connector just to double click. The connector is full. If only we could make a program that would empty the connector. That's what we're doing today. We are making a little program. As you can see, it all fits on one screen. It's just a little guy that will empty out one container into another one. We've done that before. Well, here's one that works with a connector. Uh, so this grabs Sparky's connector and Sparky's cargo container as inventory owners, source and destination. And then we grab the inventories from each. We only need the first inventory. They only have one. We put them into source and destination inventories. And then we check to see to make sure the connector is enabled. If you turn it off, uh, it will not pull items automatically. Uh, so I figure if you don't want it, if you want to be able to keep stuff in the connector, you can turn it off. And so here it'll just return if it's not enabled. So if you turn it off, the stuff stays in the connector. And then we go, we go from the uh, back of the inventory, which is the we get the items, we get the count, and minus one, that'll give us the index of the very last item. And we go to the beginning, or until the destination inventory is full. Uh, we go from the back rather than the, the front, um, because we may get to a point where, let's say, um, the Sparky's cargo container can't hold another large steel tube but it could hold some more steel plates. Well, if the large steel tube is the first item in there and we're going front to back, then we'll fail and we won't really be able to tell without doing a whole bunch of more complex logic whether it f failed or succeeded. Because um, if it does succeed, then the next item we want to move is still gonna be at zero and not at the previous and not at one. So if we go from the, the back to the front, we know that uh, even if we successfully move the item, uh, none of the other index, indexes of the items in the inventory will change. So if we go so back to front is good. So let's check the code. And then we'll run it. And oh, our connector is empty. Hooray. So then we can continue to put stuff in it. And just to show the uh, connector off feature, we turn the connector off. And then we run the program. And it's all still in there. And it doesn't affect our ability to move items in. So if we just were to hook it up to a timer block that calls the program and calls itself, then you can move stuff. Uh, into and out of the connector and it will in one second oh if you start the timer block sorry about that if you start the timer block it'll every second it'll move everything out of there so that's pretty much it it's uh, just a little quickie but definitely a good one for when you're messing with welder ships um, I am pilot area 42 it's been nice having you, and until next time, see ya!